Guillermo Rigondeau is known as one of the most boring boxers in the sport, but behind his cautious style, there is a mean streak waiting to come out. When he fought Donito Donaire, his most dangerous opponent yet, Rigondeau stood in front of him in the early rounds and even exchanged with his dangerous foe. Every time he got hit, he would come back with something better. A scared fighter doesn't fight like that. It wasn't until he had softened Donaire up that he started to move in order to frustrate him. In fact, looking at most of his fights, Rigondeaux likes to plaster his opponents in the face before starting to move midway through the fight. And if his opponents keep pressuring, they find out that Rigondeaux can do some serious damage. The reason why he doesn't put pressure is twofold. One, he doesn't know how to. Look at how he chases Donaire after he hurts him with the left hand. The guy is clueless when it comes to cutting off the ring and loses patience as he gets tangled up. Contrary to Pernell's sweet P. Whitaker, Rigadao can't fight on the inside, so why come forward? The second reason has to do with his chin. Rigadao has been dropped and hurt a number of times, so why should he slow it out knowing that he's no pressure fighter and that his chin is flawed? Still, against Lomachenko, it would serve him well to at least throw more combinations, otherwise he might get hurt, run over and not worked. Tell us what we got right, what we got wrong, don't forget to like and subscribe, and we will see you on the next one.